So what is going on everyone? It's Outsider here and we're back once again on Black Ops 3. Now in today's video, no game would get the Outsider, although we did play a little bit earlier. If you guys are interested in playing on PS4, join up the community, EXO Hacks. Really easy to join, I'm always hosting games, usually in the afternoon, but sometimes in mornings. So today, it's just going to be a tutorial video, but what I did is I had a community lobby and I had like a glitch challenge per se. I told everyone, hey, try to get into all the Nuketown secret areas, secret spots. First ones to get in them, I'm going to feature in the video. So that's exactly what I did. You know, I'm not sure if it is always the first one. Some of these, obviously, they were abundance of people getting into them. But others were really tough wall breaches, good spots. So if you guys do enjoy the video, as always, and let's get right to it. All right, so let's get this started. For the most part, we are going to cover all the known lands and spots that are available on Nuketown without a dart, teleport, anything like that. And the first one is going to be outside the Nuketown premises, just over here. You guys probably know about this one. Very old spot. has never been patched. A little bit surprised. Is this just because two barriers meet right there, you know, and there's just a small sliver where you can stick in this spot outside the map? Either way, this is what we're starting it off with. Now, I'm not going to state the names of each player that was playing this, in this lobby and who accomplishes the glitch spots. I will show third-person views on almost all of them, though, so you'll be able to see the players' names and who gets into what glitch spot. Now, from this one, we're going to use this vantage point. We're going to go over here. You're going to see me on top of that really high ledge and then hitch on the invisible ledge to the left. There's a little bit of an interesting with that thing with that one. I'll be showing you guys in a second. But let's go to my spot first. This is a pretty easy high ledge. It does take some practice, though. You have to land right on that small spot there. Very small invisible ledge, so you wall run here. And then boost jump over to the right side of this circle. And if you're about halfway up it, you should land on an invisible ledge. You'll see a slow motion view right here. You'll land right on it. Make sure not to move at all once you're in this one, though. Pretty cool spot. You can land some trick shots up here. I have seen some people on this spot in regular games, even. So you might want to try it out. Now getting to the one that Hitch was in, you can actually extend it a little bit further from this. He just jumps up, lands right on that ledge, just like the last one, very small, except you can move on this one. You can move left to right, you just gotta not move up, make sure not to fall off the ledge. Pretty self-explanatory though. And it also works over to the right as well. You'll see the dude over there, I'm not sure whose name that is, but we'll be checking that one out in just a second. Now you can jump all the way up as well and then gravity spike or use a hardened sentry menu just to land on an even smaller ledge, about double the height. I'm not going to show this in the video just because no one was able to pull it off in this lobby. It can be a little bit difficult, but you could try it, see if you can pull it off for yourself. Now this is the original back mantle on Nuketown. Most of you guys will know this one. It was found by B-Deep last summer, and if you do the backwards mantle, you go right in this secret room. It's actually outside the map a little bit, just like that original one, except we're inside of this building here. A really cool spot, you can shoot out. This one was never patched either. It, it is a little bit difficult though if you do the backwards mantle the regular way, just because it's elevated, it's a slanted ledge, as well as the fact you can't stand on it. You have to either start in front of it or jump off to the side and then boost backwards. Really fun glitch to do though, and challenging. Make sure not to melee anyone though. You'll see there, he just goes right into this spot, and you'll see, you can go to the left over there. Make sure not to fall too far forward, too, because you can go through the map. And, yeah, there's a secret room back there. Not any way to get into it other than this, though. Probably a frozen dart, too, in one of those spots. But here is the reciprocating spot, just like those ledges. This one, though, is a major skill spot in that you really have to be a veteran at backwards mantles. We're going to watch Hitch do this one. I'm not sure who found this one, although I'm pretty sure it was around a while ago. I did feature it in one of my Nuketown videos earlier this year, so it's not been like new to the community or anything like that. But still, a great spot. Look at him. You're completely hidden if you go to the right area. Unfortunately, you can't jump over to the left, and there's not as big of a barrier to walk on on this one. There's really only that small piece of land, but still... Great spot, and it's a really good challenge. Comment down below if you can pull this one off. Now to an easy spot some of you non-glitchers can actually pull off. Yes, it's just a little care package ledge. There is a technique to jump up there, and let's watch how exactly this is done. It requires that you place a care package on the ground in the right spot. It's got to be in the exact spot. Although with this one, I'm not sure if it matters. 
how you're facing. Just do it how I do. It's really not that hard. Eventually it comes in and lands right here. You just need to jump up from the fence over here. That's really the only way to get to it, I think. You have to mantle right up on top of it. And you guys are going to see the vantage point you have from there. this care package right atop the entire map. There is another one of these as well. I'll be showing you guys here in a second. But this one, I would say, is better than the other one just because... It gives you a little bit more movement, I think, from around the map. You got each side and the ability to pick people off with a sniper. I had to find that one, though. That was a little bit tough for me to grab it. Now, these two ledges right here have been around forever, and they're not really huge ones or anything like that. You just need to go outside the map and jump right up here. Be very careful. It's like the ones I showed you guys earlier in the video. You have to stick right on them. They're more like you have to jump on top of them. It's not like they're left and right. It's more about elevation. You guys will see where it's at if you try it. With these invisible ledges, you kick up dirt if you come on top of them, even though there's really nothing to see. So let's take a third person view. I go outside, jump right up. I made it look easy there, but it does take me a few tries sometimes. I'll get greedy and always the death barrier will take me out. And just like those backwards mantles and the ledges before that, it also works on the other side. Same way you'll see the dust is kicked right up. This one gives you a little bit more of a hidden area though just because the tree is closer to the map so let's watch me do this jump up and took me a couple tries on this one but you see I got it it's right on that spot where there's like a lip you'll see you can move forward a little bit but not much not nearly as much as the higher up ledges to the left right there Another expert glitch here on Nuketown, and this is a failed attempt by Silent Voltic. He just fell right through the map, although he did have it for a second there. Let's watch Nahar as he does this one. You do it over the window ledge. Window backwards mantles, not exactly the easiest of things, but you practice them, you'll be able to get it. You get stuck to the wall, do a jump pause or a melee, it doesn't really matter. And you're fully inside of the wall right here. Sometimes if you spin around in the right area, you'll be fully hidden. So this one could be used for hide and seek, guys. And we're going to watch as Nahar tries to get a little bit further, but fails. I was really glad, though, that people were able to pull this one off in the lobby, as well as that earlier backwards mantle. I mean, there's some skilled guys in my lobbies. You guys always know that. Thanks to everyone that comes by. I really appreciate it. We've had a great time over the last year. Okay, I promised you guys another care package one. Most of you already know them. I know, but those of you that don't, here's one right here. You jump right up, and it does give you a really good vantage point like the last one, although it's really only on this side compared to the other one. You didn't have the bus in front of you. You just need to drop your care package right where I'm at in the center of those two beams. Now, it does matter which side you're on because if the care package just drops down, like a straight line it's not gonna stick there obviously so it has to be horizontal like that and it just sticks right up in those ledges they're in that crease you jump up mantle on top of it there you go there's a couple different ways to get on top of here but whatever you like to do you know and we tried to actually do an elevator in this spot I knew that there was a sky barrier on top of this you know you could do it with a dart teleport glitch but unfortunately elevators just are not gonna cut it on Nuketown Treyarch was smarter than that. They included sky barriers on some of the important maps. Some of them you can hop onto them like DLC, Splash. But this, not the case. That is not going to work. And that's all the spots that we actually did for the community video. But there is one more that I was not able to get. No one in the lobby was able to get. This climb in over on this side, the blue side of the map. This is some old footage. Capic was able to get in one of our old lobbies. And you usually don't need a melee. Sometimes you go fully in. But unfortunately, he did get stuck. It's one of those climb-ins where you just need to keep giving it a try, like those ones on Breach. RIP to the regular ones, though. So he's inside of here. He gets the melee. And once you're in this spot, it actually ranges throughout that entire side of the wall there. Here's a slow motion view for you guys before we show that. And you'll see, he climbs right through. Really fun glitch. Does it still work, though? Let me know in the comments if any of you guys are able to pull it off right now. I'm almost positive it does, though. I mean, there's no reason that that would get patched. But who knows? You know, it's Black Ops 3. A lot of these things have been patched. Hope you guys did enjoy this video, though. A lot of different Nuketown secrets and glitch spots. This is probably on the last patch for Black Ops 3. Definitely going to be the last Nuketown glitch video I do. Unless it's like a combo with Nuketown 1, 2, 2025, and the first one, and this one. We'll see. Will Nuketown be returning for Black Ops 4? 
Who knows? I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.